what I might do to fix that is just change oh no that's going to be a pain uh, um, okay oh I worked it out yes haha <laughs> It looks like it's going through everything because it's checking for the junk. Okay, so there's nothing actually it's doing wrong. So let's run that again and it should be all good. This takes a bit of time turning corners and stuff because it... Oops. Because it has to check. When it's building the layer, that is. Because it has to check whether or not got any junk in there. Yeah. I didn't go through everything that time. Oh, it's digging again, that's why. Haha. <laughs> so it should do it now. So it selected it straight away, which is interesting, so now it's going to check for junk and do it again. Alright. That's alright, I don't mind. So that's that portion now finished. Now I've got to try and attempt this roof thing. Let me get rid of more of this so I can see what I'm working with here. So when it gets to the top, I need it to go down. Alright, so let's start writing this. I need a new function. Function build roof end. Ooh, I just had a great idea. Alright, so I have another function. Function inwards. I'll just call it spiral actually. Spiral. And it will receive a, a variable called type end build roof blah blah end so in this spiral function I'm, this will basically well this will be very interesting um, and take all of my skills and knowledges Ooh, I wish you could control Z I really do and okay um, so the spiral function will make it go in a spiral well actually uh, it'll make it go in a spiral back and forth so go for it needs to get the type it needs to get the length and the width and the height as well for i equals 1 to L take I. Does that make sense? Or does it need to be in a inside a second for loop? For Y equals one. Ah. Uh, while oh I don't even know um okay I'm confused already for L equals one equals for I equals one to L take one turtle dot all right I give up on this function <laughs> I'm just gonna do it the long way <laughs> okay so turtle dot it ends one ab Above, so I need to go turtle dot down, turtle dot turn right, turtle dot forward, turtle dot turn left, turtle dot forward. So this will put the turtle and go down, it'll turn right, it'll go forward, it'll turn left, and it'll go forward. So it'll put turtle on this block here and so now he needs to create the roof below him so if 
for i i equals l this needs to get all the proper variables too length width height for l i equals l take one do turtle dot place place down turtle dot place down turtle dot forward okay and for i equals one to width take one and I made that mistake up here so I'm just going so slow at the moment because I haven't really thought this through too much yet so do turtle dot place down turtle dot forward I need to check material is it check material or check materials material turn right and check material turtle dot turn right for i equals one to length take one do and actually, I know how this is gonna work. All right, um, do turtle dot place down turtle dot forward. So all of this needs to be inside its own for loop for i equals one. I need it uh, for i equals 0 to negative 100 to end and then I need spaces all in here not spaces I'm going to need to go and put another space in all of them because I need tabs. <laughs> Idiot. Oops. Tab, tab, and I'll go do this off camera. Alright, so I need to take the negative of that and I need to go take I. And I'll change that to Y. Because I isn't going to work, so Y. It should be a W, not a 2. So now I need to make sure that it returns false when it's finished. So let's step this out, which is the big example. So he does this, places the placing down all the while. And then after he's done all that, he needs to. Hmm. Hmm. Problem is, what if there's stuff in the way for that build roof? I'm gonna need to build something that does the exact same thing that's this clear roof. So that spiral thing may have been a good idea. It's just over my head at the moment. I'm actually going to come back to this project at a different time. I haven't got the right headspace at the moment, so I'll finish it off. Yeah, when I come back I'll probably be a bit confused and need a bit of catching up, but bear with me. Hey guys, welcome back. 
Um, just letting you know before I get into it, there's been a few days since I last worked on this, so hopefully I won't be too out of whack, but I have decided how I think I want to do this. I do want to try and make the function called spiral and do it using that method, and I'll do it sort of the same way that I did the in the last episode, how I did the detect if it needed to make a wall there, and how I passed the different variables to see which side of the turtle it should check. And so that's sort of the same principle I'm going to work on this, so I'm going to pass it an x variable, and whatever that variable is, is it will do a spiral for that reason. So, for example, actually no, I'm not going to do an example because I'm just going to get into it. Um, so he needs to build roof, okay, so he, let's say he is in this position. If I get them out and I go, go left, oops, go right to go forward, go left. Alright, so that's, and actually I'll have him go forward one more time. Oops. Dang it. That's a funny way of doing things, isn't it? Alright, so I'm going to have him go around in a spiral depending on what the size is, of course, otherwise it wouldn't really work out, would it? <laughs> um, oops. So let me try this. So if he starts out there, he would need to go Doing the spiral, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks forward. And the length of this room is nine. So here we go. L take two blocks. Okay, so for I, I equals one, two, L take two, do. And end. Alright, so that's. That's the starting for loop. So I go have him go turtle dot forward. Actually, first I'll have a count. Um, count equals zero. Count equals two. So L take count. And so, so it goes forward that many blocks, and then I'll say turtle dot turn right for i i equals one one to w take count do turtle dot forward end. All right. And then I just basically need to repeat that once. For I know actually no, I probably couldn't use a loop here. So I one equals L take count do turtle dot forward. And I don't know why it's doing that annoying tab thing there. Oops, he needs to do turtle dot turn right again. And then turtle dot turn right. For i equals w to take count, do turtle dot forward and turtle dot turn right. Okay, so at the end of that, I want to go count equals count take one because we want the count value to get smaller take two. I want it to get no one smaller each time, so yeah, otherwise it wouldn't do a spiral. So count equals count take one, that'll take the count value down. And then let's see what he does. So I'm gonna spiral. And I need to make sure I pass him length, width and height. Length, width, and height. L, 
W and H. Alright. So I'm gonna um, disable him before he starts building a room again. But let's say one, two, three. So I want to. I've got to type in nine by nine. So I want to go CD disk. Oops. Need to return him. So stone. Oh dang it! I'll just have him. Yeah, I'll just use the new turtle. Purpose. I have CD disk. This is going to be annoying. Let me put the disk drive right there. Oops. CD disk. Room 993. Make sure there is nothing in his road. That should be fine, so let's try it, see what happens. Comma expected. 108. Actually, no, I'll just edit room. 108. That's all. 1 to W. Yeah, it's the only place I did it wrong. Right, so exit room nine nine three. Should stop there, turn right. Stop there, turn right. Stop there, turn right. Interesting. Okay, um so that was wrong for a few reasons. Edit room. When he does the last turn, he needs to stop a little bit earlier, so count. Oops, this is not spiral. Here it is. I need to go count. Kind of need to count take one before that. So if I go into here, I say count equals count. Take one. I think that should work. And and I'll go down here and say oh, while well, true do and just so we can get a good example. Save exit room nine nine three. Oops, no. Silly duffer. CD disk room nine space nine space three. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if he does a spiral. And he's just gonna keep doing it and probably come up with an error once he gets to the center. So he's done the take one, so we should Interesting. Oh, I need the, okay, CD, I need to make him do the count, yeah, this for loop out here, is, what I'm trying to say is this for loop out here isn't going to work, I need to put all this inside a for loop, okay, so that count equals 2 doesn't need to be in there. For I, I'll just say while well, true again. True to. Because otherwise, yeah, he's just going to keep doing it and not updating the count value. And, and I'm, not, I'm not putting the tabs there just to save time. I'll just save that. Room 993. Let's see how he goes this time. should do this first lap. He should stop here. Okay, he didn't stop there. Crap. Did I not delete the old for loop? Maybe I didn't. I'm just gonna break him. So 
the count value isn't updating like I thought it would. I think. Um, see, it's outside the loop. If I get rid of this loop down here, I'll see what happens. It shouldn't matter in my head, but maybe it does. So let's save that and. Try it again. Yes, lots of trial and error here. It's par partially about what, what this is all about. Let's see if he stops. No. Okay, for some reason, the count. Let's see the disk. I'm going to have him print what the count value is every time he does it. So, edit room. So I can see what's going wrong. Because I do have. I thought I had the right thing. Spiral. Count equals count take one. So I have print count. And where should I have him do it? I'll just have him do it every time, every lap. Okay, so the count is two. So it takes two off the length and the width. Oops. Count is... Ah! Oh. Haha! <laughs> Silly boy. Alright. Um, I need to count equals count plus one. Because I'm minusing it later on. So right now I'm just making it... I should be making it bigger, but I'm making it smaller, so it needs to take more off. Because it takes away from count, see here, it takes away from count, so the count number needs to get bigger each time, not smaller. So this should work. I'm just putting a height value in there because I think something might go wrong if I don't. Just in case. So he does a lap. He should stop here. Dang it! What's the count value? Oops. Three. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be three, but why isn't it doing it properly? Okay. So maybe just there's two laps to set off. Ah. Yeah. What are you doing? That's interesting. He is technically covering every block doing it that way, just so you know. <laughs> What's he gonna give me here? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, but why is that happening? That's not a good thing, Gleason. No harm in just checking another computer up. Um, yeah, why is he doing that? So, out length is 9. He'll go 7 blocks forward. He'll go 7 blocks forward. He'll go 7 blocks forward. He'll go 6 blocks forward. And then turn right. Where is this going wrong? That is the question. I have no idea. I'm literally at a loss. So, and then he adds one to count, and then he goes W take, take three. So nine take three. Nine take three is six blocks forward, and then he goes back up here, count is three. L take, 9 take, so the L, L value isn't changing, so that shouldn't be a problem. Maybe instead of, uh, I don't know. Why? Oops. L 
will take count. going to do that in a couple of these. Print w take count blocks forward and see what he prints out for me. Seven 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 seven. Oops, dang it. Seven, 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 seven. Why does it go to six? I mean, yes, it does go to six, but it doesn't go six blocks forward. It goes an extra block for some reason. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh! Two, three, four. Okay. Okay, I think I might be getting it. So he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 and then seven. Wait, he goes seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll be back. I think I worked it out. Let me just get rid of what I wrote here accidentally before. Not accidentally, just wrongly. Um. I need to add one to count after each time he does it. And, he, yeah, when I was counting here, I was figured it out. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. He needs to move six blocks, not seven blocks. That's why in the first time he loops, he goes and does it again before he does anything, because he, d he does seven times instead of six like he should be. And there's nothing to return for, so obviously it's just going to keep working. All right. Um, so I just need to add... Count equals count plus one after every turn right. Count equals Yeah, because what I yeah, that was kinda stupid of me. Little bit embarrassing, but it's all part of the process. Yeah, so I just changed this count to three instead of two. Because he was going seven blocks instead of six, as I've already mentioned. So he does it after that one, he does it after that one, he does it after this one, and he needs to do it after the last one too. Count equals count plus one. Alright. Let's try this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That's funny. Silly bug. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> All right. You should do the correct thing now. He'll do the outside loop. Oh, and he needs to do... Okay, so I'm not quite correct. He needs to go six. Six. Six, six without changing any values, then he changes. Oh man, I still had it wrong. And then he goes, count, take one, plus one after the first loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, then he goes forward five. He goes forward five. Goes forward five. Goes forward four. Goes forward five. Wait, let me try that again. 
So he goes one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. So he goes five, four, four, three. So let me delete all the count equals count plus ones, because I think that was wrong again. So he goes... You should do the first lap, no problem. I mean, like, everything's high. So actually, I might make that to two, because that will actually do what I want it to do. Um, and then...